well, here we are again, telling you about the class that we're going to be doing in April. And we wanted to give you some highlights of what had happened in our last introspective hypnosis class. So Antonio, tell everybody what happened at the last class, which was absolutely phenomenal. Sure, sure. And you see me smiling because we were talking before starting the recording, we were talking about the things that went on in the class and we were really happy about it. So um, what do you want me to talk about, Alba? What happened, what took place during the class? Is that what it is? Well, one of the reasons why people go to this class is to learn what we do. And uh, some people have never had hypnosis training whatsoever, and they don't know what to expect, and they're kind of afraid, am I going to be able to do this? Um, right. Other people who attended are practitioners already, maybe QHHT practitioners, maybe even hypnotherapists that have never done past life regression or things like that. So we had a real mix of people at the class. It was, yeah, it was very interesting for, so let me put it this way, even though you already might, you might have uh, experience in hypnosis, you are new to introspective hypnosis. So everybody is like, they're, they're just, they're learning. Um, and for, I would say this even better if you don't have any training because it takes some time to switch from, let's say if you have a QHST background or you have a clin clinical hypnotherapy background, it's gonna take you, some time to make that adjustment and be able to facilitate introspective hypnosis sessions the way we do. But, but it's gonna give you a lot more tools. And I'm really happy, I'm really happy about what took place during the class. We, we had a lot of people uh, last time, as well as in September. Um, and amazing that only one person was from Charlotte. Everybody else came from out of town or out of the state. So it was interesting to see um, how everything, how everybody was interacting with each other and how actually the difference in, in, in knowledge and in hypnosis actually helped each other, especially when we put them in groups. Remember, we were always trying to put people in groups where somebody had experience and at the end of the class they were practicing and they were facilitating their own sessions. Right, so. That's right. Well, when, when you first do hypnosis and you do something like this, it's always good to have somebody there who has had some experience. And that's what we do. We group people together with at least one who has had some sort of hypnosis experience because the most important part of a session is to ask questions and you need to maneuver it. So uh, someone who has never done this before, um, it's real it's real easy to watch somebody else do it and think, oh, I would have asked this. But when you're on the hot seat mm -hmm. yourself, yeah. um, you kind of, you kind of uh, just sit there and, and wonder what's going on. So we mix people together. And we had such fantastic uh, results. Results, yeah. I mean, the and same Tony and I, I guess. Yeah. We walk around the room and we listen to, to what's going on. And what we heard was just, Amazing. Amazing. And it, I'm glad you mentioned that, Alba, because I, I want everybody to know that um, during the last day, which is, which, is, which is practice day, when everybody facilitates their own sessions, and we, we put people in groups, and you can have uh, maybe in the last day three, four sessions, so you get a lot of experience. We move around the class, and we monitor what is happening, and whenever somebody needs help and whenever we think they need help we jump in and take over the session and then we let them continue so what i'm trying to say is that the beauty of a taking a live class and, and and this type of class especially is that it is a safe environment so if you are concerned about facilitating a session by yourself at the beginning or trying to uh, practice inductions so that you don't feel comfortable this is the right place because there's a lot of opportunities for you to practice inductions with your classmates, not, not only during class, but afterwards as well. Uh, people go to their rooms and they can practice and this is the idea. Um, and then yes, we monitor and we give feedback and we're constantly walking around the room uh, during practice time, telling them exactly uh, what, not, what to do and what not to do. And that makes it a completely safe environment. So you're, you don't have to worry when you come to this type of class. Uh, we got you covered. Yes. And a lot of people ask, am I going to learn what ALBA does during the class? And that's, that's a, a, a loaded question because 
Um, the type of sessions that <coughs> hypnosis sessions are, they're very, very, very personal, these sessions. And those are not the ones you see online at all, because I have to use these techniques for those people who will not go to a past life, who have issues in this life. And if you're practicing hypnosis already, you'll notice that some people do not go to a past life. They need to work on issues in this life. Exactly. When, when I am there, Antonio has a fantastic course, which is what you're going to be listening to. But what I put into the mix is my experience. And usually when you go to a class, you're, not get, you're just getting the coursework. You're not getting the real life experience. And that's what our interaction, Antonio and I together, he has one way of doing things. I have another way of doing things. Both put it into the mix so that you can pick either my way or his way or your own way. Right, right. Uh, yeah, because it's impossible. I mean, I, somebody can train in introspective hypnosis. Nobody will practice uh, everything in the same way. Everybody develops its own, uh, their own style, if you want to put it that way. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, 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 I totally agree. Um, whatever you, you have on your website is, is not everything that takes place on your sessions because the, the ones that are very private, there's no way you can publish those. And, and in my case, people ask me, Antonio, why don't you have that many videos? So, well, out of 10 sessions, only one I can share. Even if my client wants to share the session, those are very personal. And, and the idea of uploading videos to, to a YouTube channel is for people to learn, to understand that there are other ways to, uh, for self-healing. And uh, we don't want to horrify anybody watching personal sessions, right? So that's, that's right. good. So, uh, what, why don't we talk about yeah. why don't we talk about things that took place during yeah. the, our last class? Remember about Valina? That was amazing. That was yes. amazing, right? Yes. I, I, well, tell them a little bit about that because you're the one who spotted uh, something going on in class, and this is what we do when we're where we're in the front of the class. We're watching uh, what's going on, and sometimes um, we notice that things are happening with the person when they're in trance. Because right. you're in class, sometimes you go into trance on your own. <laughs> that is correct. <clears throat> so um, in a class, uh, I also try to have people experience trance. You might have seen that on my videos when I do kind of, kind of stage hypnosis, but it's just to teach inductions. And I'm going to spend two hours just to show a 10 minute induction. So we do kind of um, stage hypnosis to demonstrate how the subconscious mind works and, and, and how careful we need to be when we put our clients into a trance. So as we were doing these exercises, uh, even after we were done with the exercises, I noticed that uh, Valina was not responding well. So she, it, there was something different, <clears throat> you know. So I had to take it outside and I understood what, go, what was going on. I was, because she was still in a trance. I even had to do a kind of a quick session during lunch. So basically what happened is that Valina discovered, or we discovered during the class that Valina is a channel, that she can channel, that she can see spirits and, she, and the spirits can communicate through her. Um, Actually, that, that, that part of that session is uploaded in my YouTube channel uh, with that title, Alina Discovers, right? She's a channel. So uh, that takes place during the class and it's supposed to happen. It's meant to happen because uh, we're there to help. We're there to, con it's a control environment, if you want to put it that way. In a previous class, we also had Belen, right? Yeah. In my online classes, I, I noticed that people discovered their gifts uh, while we're doing this exercise, we had Heidi Wilson, who had done surrogate sessions with me, and Heidi is amazing. We also had um, um, Sabrina. Sabrina also goes easily into a trance, and she's, she can channel um, the aspect of herself that was, she was in a past life, Ultras, uh, who was an energy worker. And it's all these amazing things take place during the class, and I really like that. You know, it's, and it's supposed to happen. Well, I'll tell you why that happens is because we have so many very, very powerful in that class. They're light workers. Right. And wherever that light worker goes, they're emitting that energy. Imagine a room full of these light workers. They are activating each other. Exactly. And 
that's the beauty of these classes is that not only are you learning introspective hypnosis, but you're meeting perhaps your new best friend. These, these folks in this class create such a bond that on the last day, it's like they've known each other forever. Yes. And even cry when they say goodbye, right? So right. Uh, uh, what happened is that um, I consider myself a volunteer. You are a volunteer. We came here to raise awareness, uh, raise the vibration of this planet. In my case, I strongly believe that I came to help spirits cross over, lost spirits, attachments, if you want to call them that way. Uh, but it's like we, we're getting together, you know? It's like all these light workers are getting together to learn more tools. And, and when we get together, the energy in the classroom is just amazing. And amaz amazing things happen uh, during the class, even when we, while we do the demo sessions, right? Yeah. I, I, I did what? One, one demo session? What one demo session I did? Uh, during yeah, this and and those, are, those are fantastic. People are really just glued to their seats uh, watching this. It's just amazing to observe something live like this. And when you go to a class like this, uh, these are your classmates that are opening up their heart and souls and things are happening right before their eyes and, right. and that session feeling so wonderful. Right, right. So, so, oh, I'm sorry, that's my, okay. My phone was buzzing. Um, so, yes, yeah, so, so to me the point is, if you come into a class, I'm just going to read to you something I read on books or I'm just going to read from a PowerPoint, present, PowerPoint presentation, that doesn't make any sense. The idea is that number one, uh, we, we, we share our experience because I made mistakes, you made mistakes, and I don't want anybody else to, else to make the same mistakes. If they make mistakes, make new ones. But that way they save time. Why making the same mistakes? So the a beautiful thing of this class is that we teach the do's and don'ts, right? What worked with that for us and what, worked, what didn't work for us. The other thing is like, okay, this is a hypnosis class and it's introspective hypnosis class. To me, it's just logical to demonstrate how to facilitate a session. And I do that in front of everybody. And I'm not, I do not consider my expert in, in you know, doing this in front of everybody, but it's something that is supposed to take place and, and it really works. And people get to see what takes place during a session. And our last demo session was very powerful very, how would you describe that? Uh, very emotional. It was very emotional. emotional. Yes, right. it was very emotional. Um, her heart was wide open and uh, a lot of things came out. And, and people have to understand that what happens in these classes stay in the class. Right. Uh, it's, it's a safe environment. So mm -hmm. don't be concerned about uh, this going out on YouTube or anything. If you get a session there, it's not going to yeah. go. Right, right, and so so that took place, and this time, and, and normally when, when, when I'm going to do my demo session, right, I kind of, I kind of already know who to choose. It's like I'm getting the information, you know, this person or this person or that person. But in this case, I didn't have that feeling. So Alba, I remember if I told you, Alba, I don't know who to choose. Why don't let them choose the candidate? Yes. Right? Uh so they, so they chose, it was, it was a, a show of, of hands. Uh, we, we selected which ones depending on what their issues were. Right, so we gave them, everybody gave a piece of paper with the symptoms, with no names, and we put all those together, and Alba started reading, okay, this paper, this symptoms, this other paper, these symptoms. So yeah. people voted, we want this person to have a session. They didn't know who that person was gonna be, and it just worked. So it was, it was amazing. Beautiful. So let's tell them when the next class is going to be. Uh, yes. It's coming up really soon. Really, really, really soon. It's going to be April 1st to the 5th. Again, Charlotte, North Carolina. And again, we're going to do this in the, uh, the Hilt at the Hilton Garden Inn in Waverly Place. I cannot say too many times how wonderful this facility is. Everybody is within walking distance, restaurants, uh, Whole Foods. You have uh, even a McDonald's, a QT gas station where you have a convenience store. Um, you name it. Everything you need is there. You don't need to rent a car, right? That's right. Do not rent a car. It is everything right there, uh, walking distance. And since others were going to be staying with you, it's going to be nice to be able to have dinner with them, go out, uh, 
Right. We interact with you after class too, so it's. And we'll be there to go out with them. Whoever wants to go out, let's hang out, you know, and and go for dinner and who knows. Yes. We're going to be there. Um, now so, I want to add something too. Is I will be in Charlotte. So one of the greatest things about this this time is that I'm going to be there the week before uh, in Charlotte, and I'm going to be having sessions there. Uh, I'm going to be putting out a newsletter. Uh, to go out and whoever is registered in the next few days, if you, you know, the next few days, I'm going to send them a newsletter and make sessions available. So they'll be able to get sessions while I'm there on the weekend. Sweet. before. They're going to get priority, which is, which is good. It'll, it'll be a priority. I'll, I'll open up only those people who are registered for the class. Mm -hmm. So they get the experience before going to the class. Good, good. And, and well, I live in Charlotte, so I'll, anyway, two days prior to this to the class and two days after the class, I'll be available in case you want to uh, also book a session with me. That is the idea, you know? That's right. Um, so why is it that we need to tell them that not to wait until the last moment to register for this class? What do we have coming in March, Alba? Well, we have a lot of stuff. Uh, Antonio, you're going to be speaking at Shift Charlotte. And right. that is a conference uh, which has a lot of people who are also spiritually minded. And after he speaks, they're going to all want to uh, sign up. So seats are limited, and we need to get you to sign up right away. Right, right. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is uh, Shift Charlotte. You can go to shiftcharlotte.com. It's going to be, uh, if I'm mistaken, <clears throat> March 23rd. I'll be one of the speakers doing a workshop there. And I even gonna have a booth in that, at that place. And in that booth we'll be promoting, yes, my practice and the classes. What I think is gonna happen and we hope it's gonna happen is that people from, people that attended to that workshop register for the class. So I know local people in Charlotte can go attend to any future class. But if you are I don't know, planning to take a vacation, trying to take a few days off, you're coming from out of the country, and you want to take this class now, go ahead and register. Don't wait because seat is going to be limited. Number one. Number two, uh, after the class, after this class, we do not know when we're going to plan the next one. Alba is super busy going to all over the world. <laughs> as you see, Europe. Yes, in fact, I'll give you a little gossip here. Antonio and I were talking last night about um, when I'm going to be available again. And um, if you notice, if you've listened uh, or watched our videos before, the scenery behind this is a little different. Uh, right now, Antonio is in my office, yep. Miami, instead of Charlotte, and I'm actually, I'm actually in Berlin, in Germany, and I'm traveling. So uh, I'm going to be traveling a lot in the next few months. In June, we ha I have a retreat in Mount Shasta. In September, I'm going to be going to New Zealand. And Antonio and I are going to be doing a class. New Zealand. So, yeah, in New Zealand. And I'm teaching a class in Canada in June. That's right. So we're going to be very, very busy. So if you're thinking, oh, I should wait until the next one, we don't know when the next one will be. So take advantage of this one and sign up very quickly because seats are very limited. Yep. Yep. Good. And uh, well, uh, just let, let everybody know the reason why I'm in your office. Um, I happen to be in Miami, you know, I was have relatives and, and, and my mom lives here in Miami and I'm teaching an online class this weekend and I needed a good place and a good internet connection and Alba was kind enough to lend me her space, which is, I really appreciate. So that's why. And, and that's what we do with each other. Um, just like when you go to class and you're going to uh, make new friends. These are these are friends that are going to be your colleagues. That's a type of friendship, right? That's right. 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 Alba okay. goes to Alba goes to Charlotte. Alba, here's my car. You know, take it the whole week, no problem. That's right. That's so what so that's how we started when we met a few years ago, and that's what you're going to experience when you meet new people in this type of class. That's right. Even so tell, tell everybody where to sign up. Okay, to sign up, you go, and I'll put it on, i put my link here. Uh, you go to antoniosanjo.com or introspectivehypnosis.com. It takes you to my same, the same website. Yes. And you can register for the class. Go to courses and then registration, and you choose the uh, Charlotte class. If you want to save some money in hotel, 
uh, there's an option there. So if you want to be listed to share rooms, um, I'll create a list and then I send an, an email to those interested of in sharing rooms. So that way you can share the cost of the room. <clears throat> I, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Hilton Garden Inn is giving us $149 for the night. That's yeah, great. which is a, is a discounted rate. And once you register, you will get a link for um, the booking page to rate, to book your, your room at a discounted rate. Make sure you go through that website when you're booking the room directly to the hotel. Right, right. So anyway, we hope to see all of you there. Uh, last, I mean, the last two classes was were just amazing. It wasn't amazing. They were a blast. They, they were back. great. So wow. don't miss out on this. Really, we, we, we mean it. If you're interested, right. do it. And, and just to give you an idea, right, for this coming class, as I said, nobody from Charlotte last class or just one person that had just moved to Charlotte. But for this class, we have people coming from the Netherlands. Uh, wow. Yeah, we have people from the US, people coming from Canada, people coming from Aus Austria, Cayman Islands, and Egypt. Can you believe that? Coming all the way to take this class. That's amazing. Yeah. That's, That's going to be an amazing mix of people. So we hope that we will see you there at our next class. It's going to be great. You're going to get to know us very, very well. It's going to be a great time. Yep. Perfect. So once again, thank you very much for your time. And Alba, thank you for your time as well. And we'll talk in the next opportunity. That's great. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.